thinking we enjoy something a little bit more fun right now. How about making fun of some self-proclaimed high value male? Question mark. Hi, I just wanted to say hi. She responds. Well, hi then. Apologies, though, as I don't know who this is. And he says, NP didn't mean to seem like a weirdo. This is uh, blank blank's friend. We met the other night at blank's place. Oh, right. My beer buddy. Haha. <laughs> What's going on? To be honest, I don't even ex remember exchanging numbers. Oh, that's probably because we never did. LOL. I <laughs> hope you don't mind. I got your number from blank. I told him I left your my hoodie in your car. Oh, OK. Gotcha. My husband has that car right now, but I can check for your sweater when he gets home and let you know. OK, thanks. That'd be great. So how did you and your husband husband meet? Lucky guy. Yeah, yeah, that's sweet. I think we were both lucky, TBH, but we met in blank. Ooh, I like that. God, I love a spicy Latina. Look, I'm sure you didn't mean anything by it, but in the future, I'd refrain from referring to strangers by ethnic stereotypes. Just a tip. But anyways, my husband should be home within the next hour or so. I'll let you know for sure. Uh, if we have that, your sweater at that time, take care. Dang, meow. Exactly the kind of thing I was talking about. Not afraid to speak your mind. It's very hot. You want to know a secret? You don't really have my hoodie. I just kind of thought I felt a vibe between us. There was no vibe, just friendly conversation and basic politeness. Does your girlfriend know you're texting me right now? Why you got to bring her into this? Oh, I haven't brought her into it, believe me, but I will. You lying to get my number and reaching out to me like this is completely inappropriate. Please don't contact me again, or please don't do this to anyone else in the future. Oh, I get it now. You're just a fucking bitch. <laughs> don't flatter yourself. Why would I want your ugly ass? My girlfriend is way better than you in every way. You got no hips, no ass, looking like a 10-year-old boy, except for those massive titties. That's the only thing a dude ever wants you for anyways. Don't get it twisted. Well, that and how ugly you are, I just assumed you'd jump at any opportunity to step out your dorky vanilla man and gross bitches like you can't get many chances for a high value male like me. I was doing you a favor, ugly. So let me get this straight. Your girlfriend clearly doesn't want to bang you, smart lady. So you decide to cheat on her, but you're aware of how pathetically unfuckable you are so you know not to waste your time trying it with attractive women. I cannot even comprehend how much it must suck to find yourself forced to hit on ugly, desperate women, but still get rejected. Why on earth would you tell on yourself like that? Holy shit, bro, that's grim. Shut the fuck up. Does it keep you awake at night? Or if you do fall asleep, does it haunt your dreams that even ugly women, even women that are built like little boys, find you too repulsive even for a text? Like, are your dreams just you coming across two-headed, scaly, toothless, chain-smoking octogenarian and thinking, damn, this will be a sure thing. Only for her to be like, nah, sorry, I just don't find you attractive. Puking emoji. For real, shut the fuck up. Not even playing with you. Just block me already. Stupid bitch. You can't even take a joke. Gotta take shot to places it doesn't need to go. Oh, gotta take shit to places it doesn't need to go. No, I don't think I will block you, in fact. I'll be sending this to blank and blank. Uh, I'm sorely tempted to send it to your girlfriend as well, but since you, I don't really know you or her, I will let those that do make that decision. Feel free to keep humiliating yourself in my DMs, though. You'll have to forgive me if I no longer respond. Free entertainment is tough to come by these days. That's crazy, by the way. That's crazy. To get cooked this hard? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Did you see the Reddit post about the guy mad that his wife was breastfeeding their newborn baby? I don't want to believe that this is real. Like, genuinely, I don't. I This one is like... You guys know my rule. Everything online, especially on Reddit, is fake. But it's probably happened once or twice in the real world. Like, it has happened. It just didn't happen to the person who posted the story. This one, I don't want to believe it. I just, I don't want to live in the same world as this person. These are without a doubt the craziest text messages I've ever covered. And I know that might be hard for some of you to believe considering all of the wackos we've gone over. But trust me, this takes the cake of lunacy. They are so outrageous that I at one point threw my hands in the air and said, enough is enough. Fiddlesticks. This is fake. It has to be fake. It's too ridiculous. 
So I did a little bit of digging and it seemed other people also thought that they might be fake. So after going through the evidence they compiled, it turns out that this is most likely real. The person that these posts seem to originate from actually did show up apparently in some court documents confirming a divorce. So from what I can tell here, it does seem like these are real and the story here is legitimate, which is so fucking sad. And the man in these messages needs to be confined to Arkham Asylum ASAP. Dude needs his own personal padded cell and you're about to see why. All of- Wow. I like blacked out for a minute. Surely it wasn't my body rejecting the reality that this person is real, right guys? Whoa, did anyone else experience that? <laughs> This hoopla starts because a mother breastfed her child. The husband says, you've been breastfeeding? You know how I fucking feel about that. She replies, what time are you coming back? He says, I don't know if I am. She says, why are you mad at me? Yes. What did I do? It's just the breastfeeding? That. The feelings it gives me and how I finally understand that you truly don't respect me. And she says, I do respect you. I just thought we could compromise about the breastfeeding. Talk about it. If you don't like seeing it, maybe I can just do it in a different room. Weirdo's mad because the mother of his child is breastfeeding that child. Is there a worse possible reason on this planet for anger? I can't think of a single reason any sane human being would be upset about something like that. Unless it's like some kind of crazy situation like, Hey honey, I just got some phone calls from some concerned parents. Apparently you tried to breastfeed our son Jericamo at the football game. He's 15 years old. Maybe it's about time we wean him off of that. We're scaring the other parents here. But this, they're talking about a newborn baby. She's still in the hospital with the newborn. He continues, well, we didn't talk about it. You just did it. And it's not about seeing it. I know it's happening. I'm done. Done? Let me know when you're being discharged and I'll be there. Like, you're divorcing me? You go behind- Me when I'm actually Homelander IRL. Behind my back and do something I've stressed about not doing. That's no different than lying and shows how little you respect me. I wasn't meaning to disrespect you. I just wanted to give Wilder breast milk since he was born early and I know it's the best thing for him with the antibodies and other stuff he'll get from it. The only thing wilder than that name is the husband's brain rotted brain. Absolute delusion here to be making a huge stink about her breastfeeding a newborn. So the name Wilder and you're about to see they actually have another child named Hunter spelled with a Y. Those two names really set off my bullshit alarms. Like, it was really giving me the heebie-jeebies of this is fucking fish paste. This is baloney. But again, from what I've seen with what people have found, because the original poster and everything, people did a lot of super sleuthing from what's been put out there, it does seem like it's legitimate. He continues his rampage saying he's not a preemie. Naming your kid Hunter with a Y? he was born at full term it's still unneeded he's still bigger than i was when i was born and you could have always asked the nurses for a pump it's a proven scientific fact that breast milk is no better than modern formula i'm not even sure that's true or not by the way I, I, i'm pretty sure um formula is a good substitute for breast milk but breast milk has stuff in it that like it has like nutrients in it that don't exist in um uh formula again formula is still good and there are a lot of people that rely on formula there's a lot of people who um struggle to produce breast milk um and even though like they just gave birth and they have titties there's just like no milk that's coming out for some reason if anyone here has had a kid or knows people who've been nursing or whatever some people just really struggle to produce breast milk and then that's why they switch over to uh, formula and it's a very good thing. Like, I don't want people to think that formula is bad. Now, Nestle, the way that they have marketed their product is unbelievably uh, immoral. They've had instances of providing free formula for like a month or however long it takes for your body to stop producing breast milk. And then now these people have to buy the formula because their body is no longer naturally producing milk. 
So free trial is over. Time to pay us this thing that you wouldn't have had to pay. Pay for, excuse me. So yeah, formula, to be very clear, um, it's a very good alternative and it's better than nothing. And there are a lot of people that rely on it. And I don't want people to think that I'm shitting on formula. But breast milk, from my understanding, is better for you. Like it has certain things in it that just don't exist in um, uh, formula. So, yeah. He's wrong about that, by the way. Modern formula, formula is fine for women that don't want to breastfeed or can't. I decided to fact check that claim, do a little re- Hila Klein couldn't make breast milk and her nurses kept telling her to avoid using formula. Their son was becoming malnutrition because she kept trying to breastfeed based on the nurses telling her she had to. This is like the perfect example that talks exactly about what I'm talking about, which is that well-intentioning and well-meaning people will tell you, no, you have to, you have to breastfeed, you have to breastfeed. But if you can't produce milk, what the fuck are you supposed to do? If you, if you can't, you can't. Like that's, it is what it is. In which case, formula is very, 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 very useful and very good. And we have saved thousands or probably millions or maybe billions, actually. I don't know why I said thousands of lives, like from babies, baby lives, infant mortality or whatever, because of formula. Formula, literally, the invention of formula did wonders for child mortality for that specific fact. Yes. Um, but there's no formula that's going to be able to... Uh, um, compete with years of evolution <laughs> or, or centuries, millennia of evolution and like mammals producing food for their children. It's just not possible. I said years as if it's like only been a thing for like five years or something. <laughs> um, yeah. At least three years of evolution at least. I forget, there's actually some interesting studies that, like, um, um, milk, breastfeeding. There have been reported instances where a kid can get sick and the mother's body starts producing, um, like, antibodies, essentially, to help the kid fight off the illness. Which is really fucking cool! Like, there's a lot of stuff, and that's, that's just the stuff we understand, by the way. Like, that's only some of the stuff that we understand that we saw that, like, your breast milk can change based on what your kid needs. Which is really, 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 really cool. Um, but again, formula is also very important. Very, very important, and I am not for, like, abolishing formula research on it turns out it's not a scientific fact you know what is a scientific fact though that this man is clinically insane so keep in mind i am not a breast milk scientist i i'm not a connoisseur of boob juice i'm not <laughs> the lactation lord but from the bits and pieces i read about breast milk versus formula it seems that breast milk is still the most recommended way of getting nutrients to your baby if possible she says, I know, but the benefits of the breast milk still outweigh the formula. Latching helps drop the milk better than the pumps. He says, yeah, the benefits to where I'll never be able to look at you the same way again. She's confused as everyone listening and reading this is right now, scratching their head, wondering what the fuck is wrong with this weirdo. She says, what do you mean? You think I'm a bad mom for breastfeeding? And he says, I think you're a bad wife. I think you don't respect me. I think you took a joy away from me. I think a lot of things. Took a joy from you? I don't understand what you mean. Formula can still be you. I feel so bad for like the boob men out there in the world that are normal. Because there's so many boob men that are fucking weird. Like objectively, I feel like 90% of ass men are normal. And there's like... 90% of boob men are fucking freaks. And I feel really bad for the 10% that are like, dude, I just want to fucking enjoy some boobs. And now I have these weird fucking, oh my God. Used, And this is where he drops the bombshell. He reveals where all of this anger and hostility comes from. I enjoy your boobs. Now they've been in another man's mouth. I now no longer enjoy your boobs. He goes Neanderthal mode. Boob sucked by baby. Boob no good to me now. 
no want tit no more. His own child he views as competition because his newborn son suckled his mother's bosom for milk. The most natural thing throughout human history. And somehow this psychopath thinks that his newborn has now tainted his wife's boobs and he can no longer enjoy them, saying that they were in another man's mouth. Wait until he finds out where that baby came from. Because <laughs> you ever get cucked by your kid, bro? No, my baby is suckling on my wife's juicy breasts. This is fucked up. Those are mine. Those are mine, damn it. Um, I found a CDC article on it talking about the benefits. Um, breast, milk, breast milk is the best source of nutrition for most babies. As the baby grows, the mother's breast milk will change to meet the baby's nutritional needs. This is the coolest thing, which is that formula is going to be the same every single time, which is what it has to be. Uh, breast milk literally we know that it changes based on what the baby needs, which is really, really, really cool. Second, breastfeed can help protect babies against some short-term and long-term illnesses and diseases. Breast milk also shares antibodies from the mother with her baby. These antibodies help babies develop a strong immune system and protect them from illnesses. And earlier it says here, breastfed babies are also less likely to have ear infections and stomach bugs. They have a lower risk of asthma, obesity, type 1 diabetes, and sudden infant death syndrome. And again, it's because there's stuff in there that's hard to replicate and put into formula. Like, putting antibodies into formula would be really fucking expensive. Um, so to say, like, why aren't you using formula for our baby? Don't you know that's gonna ruin your boobs for me? It's crazy. Insane, even. I have no words. That baby came out of his wife's vagina. Well, actually, I guess that's not true. I bet there is a non-zero chance that this unhinged maniac forced his wife to get a C-section so that way her vagina wasn't ruined by another man. I bet there's actually a really high likelihood that that's exactly what happened. And that's scary. This dude is so fucking red-pilled, he won't even let his own newborn son touch his wife's body. I bet he also wouldn't even let his wife change their son's diapers because he views them as competition. He'd bust into the room, I know what you did, bitch! You looked at another man's wiener when you changed Wilder's diaper, didn't you? And just starts profusely crying, probably calls her like a cheater or something if she changes their son's diapers. This guy is so mentally unwell, I was stunned. Like I said, I couldn't believe this was real. She tries to talk sensibly to him. Just Wilders, not another man. Their baby, their actual baby goo goo gaga infant is who we're talking about here. Not a man. He views an actual like two day old as a man. What the fuck? But anyway, he says he's a male and your son. That makes it incestuous in my eyes. And she says it's not like that at all. And then he goes, I'm not saying anything I haven't told you before. So this man was probably riddled with red flags for a long time in this relationship. And now he is just breaking, just melting down. That's definitely one of the most unhinged things I've probably ever seen anyone try and say. That breastfeeding your own child is incestuous. There are so many things wrong with that. I don't even know where to begin. It is so shockingly stupid this guy needs to be put away. He needs to be in institutionalized ASAP. Dude must think that all the days pre-baby formula, so, you know, the thousands of years BF before formula, it was all just incest with people breastfeeding their newborns. This guy is so dangerously disconnected from reality, it is scary. He is a loose cannon on the edge that is snapping. I'm going to spoil a little bit here and just let you know, he divorces his wife over her breastfeeding their child. Can you just let that marinate for a second, sit and stew in it. That is insane. That is crazy. Does, th let me pose a question to this individual. I, I blanked out his name, but I really want to call him by name. But I'd love to pose a question to him. Does he realize 
how fucking degenerate this is and how much of a pervert you must be to view a newborn baby as a man that is a competition to you. Do you guys want to know what this is, by the way? For all the people that are like, what the fuck? Like, how did she not already leave him? You have to understand that, like, women their whole lives are told that their standards are too high, that they never give nice guys a chance, that they don't try hard enough, that they don't really care and they use the men around them and they work towards. I will say that this has been my experience and this has been the experience of women around me. They try extra hard to compensate for society having an unfair opinion of them that is not based in reality. Like, I remember in my experiences, I felt like I had to give people second and third chances because really they're good guys. Until I decided, wait, why am I going to suffer for someone else? That's stupid. Wait, <laughs> why am I going to be unhappy when I could just be happy instead? <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> Settling is stupid. This is really, really silly. Wait, I can just go find someone that makes me happy. What? <laughs> what? And this is to be clear on the topic of settling or not settling. I'm talking exclusively about personality. Okay. I'm talking exclusively only about personality. And you have to understand that a lot of women are like this. A lot of women are told that like, well, he's a nice guy. And so you really should give him a chance. And you know, he didn't mean it. And he really blah, 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 blah. And it's just like not true and it's all propaganda and you shouldn't settle for someone that makes you unhappy. I always think it's weird when there's like comments or like posts that are or like, sorry, posts on Reddit that get usually reposted to Twitter. And it's like a post of a woman saying I've been married to this person for a decade and they don't make me happy and they kind of just exist in my house and... I just feel like I just do all this work and then I get nothing for it. I just feel like I have a roommate more than I have a partner and I just don't want to be in that relationship anymore. And then people will get mad about this and they'll be like, unbelievable, these whores nowadays, what, they want their husband to talk to them? Oh my God. You know, she should settle for the fact that she has a good man. It's like, what? Is it wrong to want to be married to someone that wants to spend time with you? Where? <laughs> Guys, the bar. Where are we putting this bar, man? Where, where are we putting it? <laughs> huh? Why would you even want a relationship like that? I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> of course it's wrong. A commodity should not complain when it has a good man. Oh, fuck, you're right. Shit. Ha, ha, ha.